A common problem when doing mechanical design is fastening an object onto a shaft. Um, typically when 3D printing, you might choose to print a, a hole and to use a grub screw to fasten it. Um, the problem is when the shaft is of low quality. So for example, this is an M8 bolt, but if I measure it down at this end, the thickness is closer to seven and a half millimeters. And if I measure it at this end, it's closer to 7.9. No, it is it actually M8 on that shoulder. Um, and so if you were to print an eight millimeter hole and to fasten it with a grub screw, it would be off center. Or if you were to use two grub screws from opposite sides, it would be able to wobble. The solution has been known in the engineering world for quite some time, and it's called a taper lock. You can see the two parts of a taper lock here. Um, the, this part, has a taper on it. That happens to be a six degree taper, which is about 10 to one. And there's a matching taper on the other side. So when you push these two parts together, the hole in the middle shrinks slightly, but it remains co-centric both to the outer part here and the hole. So if this was a gear, it would still remain perfectly in line. So assembly of this is, is quite simple. Um, you can just slide slide it on um, you know, it's got a bit of spring to it because it's only secured on the one side, you know, that slip goes most of the way through. And you can see that it can kind of, depending on where you put it, because of that slot, it can adapt to the diameter of the shaft. Then you can take some bolts through your, um, through the outer part. And you can line it up and you can bolt it in place. And because of the fact that the shaft does taper, depending on where I do it will determine how, how far in that can go. And I can now grab a screwdriver and tighten that down. And there we have it, a perfectly centered and immensely rigid system locked onto the um, onto the bolt